Story is confronting the tennis coach allegedly at the centre of this horrific video filmed in Serbia uh, has been charged according to local media. It was heinous to watch. And for tennis great Elena Dokic, uh, this video was triggering the former world number four, reposting it with a strong message to her followers. Elena joins us now from Melbourne. Elena, it's good to talk to you. Thanks for being with us this morning. I really appreciate you being with us on what must be a difficult thing to talk about. Uh, but what went through uh, your mind when you, when you first saw that footage? Thank you, Carl. Thank you for having me to um, talk about this really difficult uh, subject. And uh, yeah, it was extremely triggering for me. It was just sickening uh, to watch and as someone who's been through it, uh, I know what that feels like. I know what that looks like. Um, after an assault like this myself, um, I was actually um, kicked um, until I was unconscious a week before the US Open when I was 16 and it wasn't the only time and um, unfortunately also what happens behind closed doors is even worse that, that there's no doubt about that and uh, you know unfortunately had to get to this and f be filmed for this long uh, for us to be able to see what that actually looks like uh, but now we actually need to do something about this this is what I was talking about all along when I came out with my story that this happens and that I, I'm not the first or the last, but it is about how we deal with it and whether we're doing enough. We, we, we do want to say that, that we thought uh, about sh even showing this video a great deal, um, uh, but in consultation with you and, and from your messaging, uh, we also thought it was incredibly important because there are, there are people out there who are going through this, right, Yelena? And how would they be feeling? Um, you know, when they, when they see this, but also how would they be feeling when, when they don't know if there's anyone out there who's ever going to be able to help them? Absolutely, and and I, you know, thought twice about posting it as well on my social media. Uh, even though I'm, I, I de definitely believe in us talking about it and showing it because that is the reality. This is the ugly side of of sport and tennis, unfortunately, and it needs to be talked about. And I don't think it's talked about enough. And this is now um, where the question is: What is being done? Allegedly, and from what I'm getting information and hearing, is that um, this is not the first time this video has been circulating around for a couple of weeks in the tennis community yeah. uh, in, in Serbia, uh, between parents, between coaches, allegedly the father and the coach of this 14-year-old girl uh, beat up someone at a tennis academy a few, a few weeks ago. He's done this to this girl as well. And my question is, uh, uh, why is this happening? He was banned from a couple of clubs, but then he can continue to be at different clubs and different tournaments. So the system clearly is broken. There's something missing. Mm. Uh, I don't think that there is enough communication either and now what do we do now uh, I don't think that there is enough in place we need to have registers in place and lists for coaches and parents you if you've done this already and you're banned from a club or an academy you shouldn't be allowed to yes. step anywhere near a tennis club uh, also you know where can these kids and these players go to can, can we have an anom anonymous platform to get help um, who's looking after these kids someone needs to be responsible for the well-being um, of these young kids, especially girls. That's 100% right. I, and I don't know why the, this stuff wouldn't have been set up. It's going to take you and and, and, and I guess some the, all of your media supporters to try and drive for change here and support from the government. This, this just makes perfect sense. But what's that girl supposed to do who's 11, 12, 13 yep. on, on, a, on a tennis court somewhere? Where, I don't know how they get help. Yeah. Look, I'm certainly going to try and, uh, you know, drive this change and push for this. That's what I've done all along. Uh, I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to use my platform, my social media as well. I hope that the rest of the tennis community does as well, players, ex-players, coaches. I do want to say this, though. When it comes also to, I think, Australia, we need to talk about that. And I think that Tennis Australia is a leader in this, yeah. um, in the world, because I think also since my case, there's a lot in place when it comes to this type of thing happening here. If this uh, happened in Australia and if the father was already banned from a tennis club or an academy, he wouldn't be allowed to step near a tennis court. And Tennis Australia and the authorities uh, will definitely ban him and, and take action. So I'm really happy that we've got a much better system here in Australia. Yeah. But again, uh, tennis is a global sport. We need action on a global level and global scale. So I also want to get you know, the media to cover this more. If you look at it, uh, there's not enough coverage of this. As ugly as it is, this is 
is the reality and no one will help these girls and these young kids uh, and we need more visibility we need more campaigns we need more awareness I'm certainly going to try and drive that change um, I can't do it alone uh, but I'm going to do absolutely the best that I can to help anybody that I can because we need a change beautifully said mm. Yelena keep moving forward on this it's mm. so important really appreciate you being on thank you Carl thank okay. you for having me Yelena Dokic G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>